Hi guys, and we're back to Viscera Cleanup Detail. Kelly here, and the cat has been fed from the last episode. So, also, the flare finally burned out, so that is it's just unfortunate. Alright, so, you know, I'm gonna... I think I'm going to need at least one more bucket. Uh, so, how is everybody doing today? Uh, I'm not exactly sure when this video will go up, but, you know, I still want to know how you guys are doing. Um, ooh, a letter. Bob, oh, see, this is part of Bob's story. So, this, I think... I can't remember if this is where Bob's story starts or not, but February 4th, and it says 4 to 2184, so is that April 2nd? Though how we've been reading it is it says the day, the month, and the year, so it says that it's February 4th, 2184. Bob, Junior Executive Janitor. I finally reached the Wasty Souls of Sector in hopes of having a respite. The things I've seen while fleeing truly typical of these bastards. I've done only what I had to do. People won't understand. I don't care either way. Screw them all. I plan to make for the docking area and hopefully stow away on the next ship off the station. They must never find me. So that is something that I plan on doing after I do all these levels. If, you know, people still want to see the series and stuff like that. Um, is just follow all the clues. There's little Easter eggs all over uh, in these levels that are... That, I don't know if there's any Easter eggs in this level per se. Um, but... Yeah. Oh, oh, let's just go throw this away. Some people probably are like, why does you always throw that away? I throw it away in every in everyone because I despise the big boomer. It's the most ridiculous. The most ridiculous thing in this game. And I mean, they have Gonorrhea and Fabio in this game. So, you know, let's. And this game is is a little it's secretly funny. Like is that a word secretly funny? Like you don't like I doubt that anybody would write you know, we're fucked as they're dying. Um at least not in blood. I mean I, I just think that that's hilarious. Uh people's names like you know Seymour butts and stuff like that you know that's funny and like when you're doing your paperwork and all the people they they have in front of their names it's WTF concerning and you know that's that's it's just kind of funny and that's the way it's supposed it's supposed to be funny it's not supposed to be um It's supposed to be humorous. And I like things like that. Things that are supposed to be humorous. That I just don't think that a lot of people get certain humor. Anyways, I get all humor. Actually, I, there are some people who can do like straight up deadpan humor. And uh, like they're totally joking with you. But they will... It's, it really is crazy how people can do that. They're just like, I fucking hate you. And you're like, I'm sorry, what did I do? They're like, no bro, I'm just joking. <laughs> what? Don't, don't mind fuck me like that, it's too easy. <laughs> but. Okay. Did we get everybody's 
You, uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Cool beans. Oh, God, just ran into the wall. I'm so smart. Okay. No, I don't need one of those. Dang it. I mean, I will eventually, but I meant to grab one of those. So these can be kind of hard to put in. Um, unless you know how to do it. So and then you just close the lid and it's done. Easy peasy. You know what? I always hate when people say that in video games. Easy peasy. Nothing is ever easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. I think that's why this game doesn't get a lot of hype, because it's kind of easy to play. It's... I'm gonna... There went a bucket. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because I needed to get it out of the way. That's why I'm... I may have to take a break... Um, oh, I forgot to start my timer. This one's going to be a little bit longer, guys. <laughs> no, I don't want that. I want... Anyways, totally forgot to start my timer. My bad. Okay. So, um, I am going to clean up. I'm going to go do the mop thing. Get the mop, the mop, the mop. It's the, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Oh. Demonetization. As I said last time. I have to be monetized first. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like like YouTube has become like this super easily I think it's because America people in America are so easily offended these days. Everybody's skin is way entirely too thin. You know, and I don't know if that, I don't know why that's happened, but it's definitely something that has, that has happened. Everybody is way, way too easily offended. Oh my God. And that's what happens, folks. And a bloody body part. Because we didn't already have enough of those. A liver. And, actually, I think this is supposed to be a stomach. Thanks. Um, let's not put the mop bucket in front. And let's put the mop bucket in front of us. I know it's kind of silly, but I mean, considering what just happened, I don't think it's too silly. There's this one level that I'm kind of dreading playing again because it was so hard to play the first time. And it's like everything is done in the dark. And I am not even joking. It is actually one of the most ridiculous levels ever. And when I first played it, I, like, at first, I, like, I logged off when I exited the game when I first, uh, when I first did it. Because I was like, those, this is ridiculous. I'm not doing this. It's going to be too hard. And I don't really want to deal, you know. But then, you know, I kind of sucked up and stopped being a baby. And, uh, decided that to play it. And... I finished it, but it took me actually a couple of days. Look, there's something there, but there's... Oh, there it is. 
But yeah, it took me a couple days to finish it. It was not like an hour or two of a game to finish this, to finish it. So it was kind of, it was a really difficult level. I don't know why I'm kind of hunching over while I'm playing this. <laughs> like, you guys may not, you guys can't see me, but I was literally hunched over just playing this game. And I'm like, okay. Like, why is my back hurt? Oh, yeah, because you're hunched over, dum dum. Stop hunching. I'm totally mopping wrong. I should be mopping a different way. Like, the mop should be behind me, but I don't want to. Because every time I walk, you leave footprints, and so that's why it's bad to... But you can always pick up your mop bucket and move it. <sighs> I may have to take a small break after this, like I said, because I'm starting to get a headache. Between the smoke and the... The game lighting. The fact that right now it's literally the only lighting in my house. <clears throat> Yay, we didn't spill that bucket. Yeah, I get a sharp pain in my eye every time I um, look into the fire. So I probably just have um, light sensitivity to something or other. Who knows? I always have something wrong with me. I've just stopped, like, you know... It's funny is because, like, you know, as a hypochondriac, I normally am like, oh my god, there's something wrong with me. I have, like, I, I have a tumor. Or I have cancer. Or, you know, it's not a tumor. Anyways, um, and that's how I used to think. I don't really think that way anymore. I'm, they probably say I, I don't actually have hypochondriasis anymore. Um, and that's just because lately, not lately, but for a while I've been you know going okay well I don't I want to worry about what is what's the ailment that's causing my pain right now what hurts right now what is making me go ow 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 what you know what hurts the most right now and you know that's what I've been worrying about the most or lately anyway I'm not worrying about, <clears throat> and I'm not worrying about the stuff that's going on, you know, in the background, like my diabetes, which is one of the things I really should be worried about because, you know, diabetes can lead to a host of other problems, including, you know, heart attacks. My sister had three of them just because her diabetes was not controlled. I mean, the woman ate candy like she was a school child. And so, you know, and then of course she was on, when she was going through her cancer treatments, one of the cancer treatments that she had was steroids and they raise your blood sugars. I'm not on any steroids. Well, except for um, the ones that used to work out. Yeah, I inject them. No, I'm just joking. Um, I actually, uh, if you have an inhaler, you get a little, a tiny dose of steroids every time that you use your inhaler. Um, but, and I've been really using that lately because I got sick a little bit ago and my lungs were, my lungs had kind of taken a hit and I just kind of felt crappy and, you know. Um, but, see how easy this falls open? I hate that. And this is where the barrels go, so. Might as well start getting that. Those. Don't go here. That was a nice toss. Nice. Okay, and then that can go right here for now. Okay. Um. I hate mopping up green blood because I can never tell when it's full. 
Yeah, that's my last one. Ugh! Son of a... <sighs> I normally don't do that. I don't know why I'm doing it so much this time. Well, now, when I had my my old computer, God, I did it all the time. I actually did, couldn't play this game very well because of it. Um, it was just, it was horrible. I could not play this game. And, which was really sad because of how much I love this game. There can't be that much blood on my feet that it would, you'd think it would start to taper off, but no. Fine. Be that way. I don't care. Okay. I'm so cold. I don't know why I'm cold. Like, my air conditioner is not on. I turned it off because I was so cold. Oh, goodness sakes. Did not notice that that was dirty. Uh, you know what's going to be really nasty to mop is this. <laughs> oh, look, more bloody parts. What is it, a fucking mandible? Is this one's jawbone? Whatever. I was... When I'm... When I go to bed at night, I watch these, uh, I watch these videos, and I was watching doc, the, the Dr. Pipple Popper show, and, um, just the little snippets of each episode, I'm like, oh, I've already seen that, 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 I'd hate for you to show me the same thing I've seen, but it's okay, I guess, um, I still watched it anyway, but, um, and there was this episode. It was it was a TLC show, and um, which TLC is so scripted, by the way. But whatever. Anyway, sorry, I got sidetracked for a minute. Anyways, uh, I was one of the videos that were that I saw was a guy had a huge tumor on his face. Like, it had literally, it was, he couldn't barely eat. Like, one side of his face was completely, obliter almost obliterated by this huge tumor. And it wasn't cancerous or anything. But it was like, they're like, oh, if you don't have it removed, it's going to push, literally push into your brain and then push your brain out of your skull. And I was like, holy, holy, holy Jesus. That, that is some serious, and you know, people are like, oh, I have bad knees. This guy is a fucking tumor growing out of the side of his head. How about you shut the fuck up about your bad knees, you know? And, um, I just, I think it's, it's, I mean, they fixed it. They kind of fixed it. They removed the tumor. They also had to remove half of his jaw, his lower jaw. But, um, yeah, I couldn't believe... And this, this guy was just living with it. And he's talking about how bad the pain is some days and how he has to, once he takes his meds and then it's fine. I'm like, you know what? Way to go, you. You are a trooper and deserve, you know, deserve something. I don't know what you deserve. I mean, I think he had it done for free because he was so, it was such a, a you know, it's an odd case that it was. It would be more beneficial to the doctors just to do it, just because it would be a great learning experience for the doctors. But um, that goes down there. I don't really want to throw it down there, but don't know. Do, uh, no, no, no. Uh fucking physics in this game but I was just like completely just flabbergasted by this guy 
and I can't remember what country he lived in, but, um, yes, I know that I just blocked my way out. I'm trapped in here forever! And yes, I do like watching Pipple, the pimple popping shows. Though lately she hasn't really been doing a lot of pimple popping. She's been doing mainly like lymphomas and stuff like that. You know, that's what people want to see, I guess. Um, or maybe that's not what people want to see and that's why it's on our YouTube channel instead of her TV show. I don't know. Can I get that? Is that... Something no, okay. I mean, I think that if I was a doctor and I had, you know, I had these millions of subscribers that literally, you know, yes, she was a doctor before she became a YouTube star. But the thing is, is that it was her millions of subscribers that literally got her to, you know, where she is. And that's what a lot of some, I think some people don't really understand or remember is that, yeah. God dang it, is that, you know, before they were, you know, I'm just going to throw these away. I don't need them and I'm not going to, I was going to keep them to put stuff in, but I just decided not to. Decided not to. They're just going to cause more problems than help at this point, so. See how easy it is to get caught up on that thing? I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Ah, uh, see, there's that pain. It's just sharp. And it only happens for a quick second every time I look at the light. So maybe it's something to bring up to my doctor or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I just shouldn't look at it when, <laughs> when I <laughs> go to drop stuff off, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes Kelly is not so smart. You know, I used to be. I used to be hella smart. Like, super duper de duper, you know. Could have, like, gone to almost any college I wanted. But. I stopped applying myself. Um, and I think it was because I was rebelling. I went through a rebellious stage, most teenagers do. I mean, all I did for my rebellious stage was I stopped doing my homework, I stopped, started hanging around the wrong people, um, and, I mean, like, I didn't do drugs or anything like that. I mean, you know, I guess I started smoking. I, I guess you can consider that drugs, and it is a drug. Uh, but, and, um, but, you know, I stopped studying, and I stopped caring about my future, and... You know, my dad, you know, he says, oh, it was my fault because I was, you know, he left. And I mean, maybe a little bit. I mean, he, I was 13 when he left. And when, you know, all the stuff started happening between my parents and, you know, I, it did bother me a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when you're in your 20s, you kind of have to stop blaming stuff on your parents. You know, when you become an adult, that's it. You're an adult. And, you know, if you're sitting, if you're sitting right now, 
in your parents' basement watching some 40-year-old woman play a video game, that's okay. You know, but if you are, if you're sitting in your parents' basement and you're, okay, let me rephrase this. If you're sitting in your parents' basement and you're, you're watching and you're at any age and you're watching this, then that's okay. And as long as you're happy with your life. But don't sit there and complain how the world isn't treating you right. God dang it. <laughs> when, you know, you could be, you know, at college right now learning and getting up off your butt. And don't sit there and complain, oh, my diabetes is too bad. I can't exercise. I'm too fat. Um... It's not that you can't. It's that you choose not to. There are many of exercises that can be done for people who are overweight. My doctor has given me some. I've had a nutritionist who give me some, who's given me some. I choose not to do it. I choose not to. I can't. Yeah, my knee hurts. My knee is gonna hurt. I'm fat. I am choosing not to exercise because of... Of certain of excuses that I make for myself. Oh, there's blood up there. Has that always been up there? I never noticed that before. I mean, I knew that green stuff was up there, but I never knew that red stuff was up there. Um, so, and I mean, for people who who like are in wheelchairs, yes, they cannot. They literally cannot exercise. But at the same time, they can move their arms. They can, you know. Life isn't over just because you have a disability. And um, I want people to know that. That just because you you have some sort of disability, your life is not over. Um, even if you're a paraplegic. I mean, things will be hard and tough, but... Guess what, sunshine? Life is hard. I have never known life to be easy. If life was easy, everybody would be a millionaire. I seriously saw that and thought somebody was standing there for a minute. And I had to do a double take. And I was like, that's a pipe, Kelly. Calm down. This game really does make you give... Totally, It totally gives people the creeps. And that's what it's supposed to do. But And, you know, before anybody gets offended and starts going off on me... Or coming at me. I mean, if you want to come at me, come at me. Uh, I am not easily offended. Um, when people comment on my videos and I'm fat. Uh, thanks, Captain Obvious. I, I just, I didn't know that. It was completely, you know. I keep trying, I couldn't figure out why every time I put on those size 3 pants, my fucking thigh would only fit. But damn it, if you... you you helped me out there by telling me that I was fat. I mean, come on. Of course I know that I'm fat. You don't have to tell me that. I know. You think that you're hurting my feelings or trolling me? <laughs> I mean, that doesn't... That's. It's, it's kind of like looking at a black man and going, You're black. Yeah, he knows. I mean, you know, it's just... It's such a silly comment to make on a YouTube video. Uh, I think I've had one where somebody was like, you should exercise. Yeah, I should. I don't. Because I am truly lazy. I think that if I was skinnier and probably healthier, I wouldn't be so lazy. Um, but I'm going to tell you that I am lazy. Um... I enjoy being lazy. I enjoy laying in my bed. Uh, I enjoy laying in my bed. At least it wasn't dirty water. Um, I enjoy laying in my bed. I enjoy reading. I enjoy, you know, snuggling with my dogs. I enjoy, you know, laying in bed watching TV or watching YouTube videos. Um, Eduardo Pablo. So that would have been a much better name for that guy than Gonorrhea. 
Um, so I en- sorry for the mic bump. So I enjoy those things. So pe- people, I don't know. I just my personal opinion is that most of the time people should just shut their mouths and let other people live their lives. Um, and because I will never. I've never gone on anybody else's channel and been like, you're an idiot, or you're stupid, or you're dumb, or you're fat, or you're ugly, or you don't know what you're talking about, um, because um, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time either. And I just... Bambi, if you guys have ever seen Bambi, Bambi's mother, or is it Thumper's mother? I think it was actually Thumper's mother. She said, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. This is <laughs> Dieter Winkopoulos. <laughs> that cannot be a real name. That's a horrible last name. Winkopoulos. Oh, God, that that made my day. I'm going to put that right there. Oh, who's this? Ajax Schmiel. We have another Ajax. That reminds me of that scene in Deadpool where he's making fun of the bad guy because his last name, because uh, his name is Ajax. Uh, I love Deadpool. I hope they make a third one. But I kind of feel like the third, the second one was a little, I don't know, it was a little weird and I didn't li- like it that much. Well, no, that's not true. I did like it. It was just kind of, I know, it was, I just felt it was full of randomness. I mean, and I know it's Deadpool. And that's what Deadpool does best is randomness. But without his without his classic Deadpool, um, you know, three voices, you know, because they're because Deadpool's schizophrenic. If nobody knows, um, he has a he has voices in his head that talk to him, and so it without those voices in his head and us hearing them his randomness just seems even more random you can see what we do what a lot of people don't know is that you know he's crazy because of all the all the tests that were done on him in that test facility he has gone a little mental um so, in order to really get the full Deadpool story, you have to actually watch, you have to actually read the comics, but Deadpool actually is not, it's, he's not just a one voice guy, he's not just Ryan Reynolds all messed up, and, um, great a body part, he's this, you know, then again, I don't know if they have done... Uh, what they, I don't know if they did a reboot on Deadpool or not because of this, but because um, I know that a lot of the, that they've also been they that DC did a, a reboot called the uh, New Fifty Two, and it's just that they basically have rebooted the characters and are going along with uh, some storylines that make people like me go what, like um. Supergirl is is one of them because I don't think Martian Manhunter was ever in Supergirl. Um, and now he is. And that's... So... I might make some people mad here, especially if you guys, some of you are comic buffs. The Justice League movie pissed me off. It made me really upset, you guys. Like, I don't even want to watch the Snyder remake on HBO because of how mad I am. And let me tell you why. Everybody's like, oh, great, switch off to a different channel. A nerdy fat girl talking about DC, uh, about comic books and superheroes. 
<laughs> change channel. Um, and again, if you guys don't want to listen to it, you guys can either... Well, you guys can either switch to a different channel, or you can just hit mute. Again, I don't care. I'm actually not going to tell you why right now, because we don't have much time left together. Oh, I'm going to have to get back here. Can you guys see that? Like, right here in the in this... Uh, you guys can't see. But look up in this hole right here. You'll see that I have, like, a small ghost right there. Do you see that? I wonder if it's picking up. Anyways. Oh! Just trying my best at finger painting. Mop painting is what we call it. In janitorial school, that's what we call this. It's a good old-fashioned mop painting. Mop Art 101. An introduction to you and your mop. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. Okay, guys, this is where I'm going to leave it. Um, I have about 18 seconds left, so I'm just going to mop this up. Um, so I will talk to you guys later. I'm probably going to take a little break, uh, just pause the video and come back. Um, and then I'll just cut out the, the part. But I am just I just need to like sit down and relax or whatever. I don't know. So I will talk to you guys in my very next video, which I don't know what it'll be or what part it'll be. But I love you guys so much, and thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye, guys.